the bell icon to turn on notifications. If the My Task view is the most important view in Asana, then the Inbox is the second most important view in Asana. Many people believe My Task and Inbox are actually the same, but they are quite different. In My Task, you can see all the tasks assigned to you. Inside Inbox, you can see all the notifications related to the work you follow. The Inbox is located in the top left corner just below My Task, and this is a view that you should check on a regular basis several times a day. It is like an email inbox, but specifically for content related to Asana, and it's much more powerful than your email inbox. One of the benefits of the inbox is that it's directly available inside Asana, so you can click any notification and actually open the task on the right pane. So you can directly interact with the task, answer any comment that were made, and then move on to the next task. Just like an email inbox, it's important inside the Asana inbox to archive any messages you've read or dealt with. So when you scroll through the notifications you have, it's important to hit the archive button there to make sure that notification will not bother you anymore. So you might come in on a task. This is awesome. Thank you. You post a comment like this and then you archive the notification. Sometimes it happens that you don't want to lose the notification because you want to be reminded of something specifically about that task. In that case, there is a specific button called create follow-up task. If you click that button, Asana will offer to create a task for you with the proper name, assigned to yourself with a link to the original task inside the description. And usually the idea is to choose a due date a few days in the future and create the task. That way you will be reminded to check on that specific task in a three or four days time without having to keep the notification inside the inbox so that you can really reach inbox zero without having to keep those kind of notifications for later. Also note that you do have access to specific filters at the top. So for example, it could be, especially if you have a lot of notification, it could be interesting to focus only on at mentioned notification first look at those, clean up everything, archive all the notification, and then move on to the other specific filters. And then you might finish by the old filter that shows everything that is remaining. That is a good strategy, especially if you have a lot of notification. Also, many of those notifications could be disabled. For example, the task summary that you get on a daily basis could be disabled inside your profile settings. You do also have notification about tasks being added to specific project. Those notifications could also be disabled. And finally, when you are a collaborator on a task, as we've seen before, you get notified about everything that's happening with the task. But if you don't care about this anymore, you can always remove yourself from the task so that you will not be notified again. So your daily goal is to reach the inbox zero. That's even easier to reach by using the mobile app because the inbox is really easy to use on the mobile app and you can actually swipe to archive the messages. So you might want to have a look at the mobile app itself. One last thing, by default, Asana will send you emails from the beginning. It might be a good idea to disable email notifications altogether and just stick with the Asana inbox. If you want to disable email notifications, you can go into the three dots menu, manage notifications, and then you go there inside the email notification part of the settings. And there you can disable all those checkboxes to stop receiving emails altogether. You will not lose anything because all the notifications you had before will now be happening inside the Asana inbox that is much more powerful and much more easy to use than the email inbox that you know. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.